what's up beautiful people welcome back to my channel in today's video i'll be preparing one of my favorite meal aki and saltfish if this is something that you are interested in and you're excited about it just as i am well stay tuned and let's get into the video okay so to prepare my dish i have some thyme scotch bonnet pepper um, green scallion or um, green onion or scallion sorry um, some onion and tomato I'm also going to fry some green plantain to go with my Akian saltfish and this is my saltfish here I have a salted codfish and I'm just gonna cut it in half and um, boil it in some water just to remove some of the salt from it so guys, I have here some water and I washed my saltfish and I added it to the water. Now I'm going to put it on the fire to boil so that it can remove some of the, um, the boiling can remove some of the salt from the saltfish. Also, it's not going to just remove the salt, it's also going to tenderize the saltfish and let it become more flakier to um, add to your ake. So in the meantime, I'm going to cut up all my seasonings. don't want too much pepper that you can't taste the ackee and selfish not overbearing but um, just enough to flavor the pot you can cook and not have some country pepper in it and so onion tomato pepper and I'm just going to remove the leaves off the sprig of a thyme and add it to my um, seasoning this is very easy to do you just put your finger at the top of the thyme and pull it back you get all your leaves so I'm just gonna do that and then I come back okay so for the green planting I'm just going to peel or remove the skin from the plantain and then cut it into um, the perfect size so that I can fry them and then smash them. So to peel it, I'm just going to cut here, cut the top like this and then cut the bottom like this. And I'm just going to use a point of my knife to just um, score the side of the plantain. You can do more than one side so it's easier to come off or you can just do one side and just peel it right off very easy Okay, so guys, we're gonna start cooking up the ackee and saltfish now. So I'm gonna add some oil to the pot. About two tablespoons of oil. And then this is just my little touch. I don't know if anyone else um, does this, but I'm adding four pimento berries to the oil, just to kind of flavor the oil before um, I start cooking the ackee and saltfish. Also a piece of thyme just to infuse the oil with all that flavor. Okay, so I'm gonna take these out now and I'm going to go ahead and start um, frying up all my seasoning. So 
I'm just going to allow this seasoning to saute for a little bit. This is so pretty with the tomato color and the green onions. Okay, I'm just going to let this sit for a little bit and then I'm going to add some more, some, um, then I'm going to add some seasoning to it and also the salt fish. So with ackee, it's very soft. So you don't want to um, add the ackee and the saltfish now and then try to season the pot and stir it and doing all that stuff because what will happen is that you will break up the saltfish even more, so the ackee even more. So I'm gonna add some seasoning to the pot. I'm adding here some garlic powder, about half a teaspoon. You can't have your ackee and saltfish and you don't put black pepper in it. So I'm adding here about another half teaspoon. And I'm going in with a little bit of onion powder. Okay, so my saltfish still has a little bit of salt in it still, so I'm not going to add any salt to the pot. And I'm just gonna stir this together. So now I'm going to add my saltfish. I rinse it a uh, second time just to ensure that it um, I remove most of the salt from it. And uh, now I'm going to add it to my dish. So now I'm just going to leave this and allow the season and the saltfish to come together and um, then I'm gonna when I come back I'm going to add the ackee and then we're gonna finish this side this part of the cooking a few moments later so now I'm going to add my ackee and I I just want to slightly toss it because I don't want to break up the ackee. And now I'm just going to cover it and leave it for a few minutes and then we're all done. Okay, so now that the ackee and the saltfish is finished cooking, we're going to go ahead and now and fry our planting. So we're going to fry them for a little bit and then we're going to take them and put them on the cutting board and press them flat. Also, I'm going to try a little technique I saw on TikTok where they use the um, the, lem the lemon squeezer to form the um, the planting in a, little, in a little cup. And then we're going to try you know, to stuff them with some ackee and saltfish and see how that turns out. Okay, I'm just going to check if my oil is hot. I'm using a chopstick. I'm seeing small bubbles coming up, so it's almost ready. I'm going to start by adding our plantains. Okay, so now I'm going to remove the um, plantains from the pot and I'm placing them on a um, paper towel just to remove some of the oil in the meantime and then I'm going to go ahead and smash them. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and try out the experiment. No, 
not bad. Okay, so this is the regular um, style that I know. I'm just going to finish the rest in this style. Okay, so now we're going to do a second fry to finish them off. Okay, so I'm going to take them from the pot now and just let them drain off on a paper towel, on a piece of paper towel. continue frying these up. I'm going to add some salt to the ones I fried already while it's hot. Okay, so I'm going to plate up and come back. Welcome back guys. So now I'm going to partake of this wonderful feast. Um, just take a look at this. I don't know if you can see clearly. Uh, this camera won't let me be great. Okay. Let me just taste and see what's going on. Let me just eat some of this first, so I can't talk it. Hold on. One second. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm. This is good. Right amount of salt in the salt fish. After I cook it. For, after I boil for a little bit and then I just add some water to it and then when I flaked it out I add some more water again and just let it stay in soak so the salt is just right I didn't add any salt to the pot while I was cooking it yeah mm. Mm -mm. Mm. Big chunk of ackee and sawfish. Mm. This is exceptionally good. Oh my god. This is really, really, really good. I'm not even joking i'm not even faking it because oh i made a dish this is my favorite favorite dish my all-time favorite dish i can't selfish i enjoy it with fried dumpling white rice if you like it with white, white rice let me know mm -mm. most of all green plantain though If I eat the ackee sandwich, <laughs> white bread, I can't sausage. Mm. This is good. The 
okay now so you don't watch that video or cook yourself some of this mm -hmm. let me try one of my little aki cup Let's go for it. Mm. Mm. This is really an appetizer style. You go to a party, you don't want to get messy. And they serve up the ackee and sawfish, you know, to plant in cup like this. Perfect. I just love how every little bit of aki is a little bit of selfish right beside it. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm. These are very cute. Very, very cute. How do you like eating your ackee? Do you like eating ackee and selfish a traditional way? Or you like corn pork? So many variations of it, but I prefer corn pork, ackee and selfish, and salt beef and ackee. Anything salty with ackee is perfect for me. You can comment and let me know how you like yours. This is such a um a basic recipe, but it's so good. I don't even know if you're seeing it properly. Mm -mm. Mm. You're going in my tummy the same way. <sighs> Perfect. Mm. Some people, the only way for them to eat ackee and sawfish is just to eat with boiled banana and yam and dumpling or fried dumpling. Some people, it has to be fried dumpling. But this way, mm -mm. perfect. Mm. Mm. 
If you've never had Athian sawfish with fried plantain, fried green plantain, mm -mm. you're missing out. Mm -mm. <laughs> it's a mountain of ackee and sawfish. Mm -mm. I wish you could have a closer look at this. Mm -mm. This is so good. How many of these um, I can sawfish cups could you eat? This could be breakfast, lunch, and it could be dinner for me. This is so good. Can I make it? <laughs> well, when I finish, I'm going to bed. Take a nap after all of this. But we're finishing it today. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. 
yes guys so my battery died on me so i had to change it and come back let me just enjoy this last one and finish up the video last bite Please guys, if you've never made, if you have never made Akin sausage before, try this recipe. And if you know it, and a long time to eat it, come go make some. Mm -hmm. This was really good. So guys we have come to the end of another video and i just want to say thank you for taking the time out to tune in and watch my video and if you're not yet subscribed to my channel please go ahead and click the subscribe button share my video with your friends and family so they too can see what greedy girl Anne is cooking up over here see you in the next video bye